Welcome back to more football and the uh, fearless football forecast. Uh, we're headed to week two. Week one is in the books. I'm Ronnie Woodward, joined again by Tony Castleberry and Jim Gentry. Um, last Friday night, guys, the, the weather kind of messed things up a little bit. We, we get, did get most of the games in, um, but we're on to week two either way, so I hope you're all ready. Yeah, let's do it. Perfect, perfect. Um, speaking of the weather here, Tony, uh, first game, <laughs> Farmville Central sadly didn't get to play last Friday, so jury is still out on the Jaguars. Um, they host North Lenoir, North Lenoir and is what their, their season opener, basically. Yeah, I was out at Farmville when the monsoon hit. Yeah. Um, we knew pretty much early on they weren't going to be able to play, but they had to stick around, you know, lightning, thunder, heavy rain, there was no way they were going to play. And I mean, you said that, that they unfortunately didn't get to play. Well, they were taking on a Plymouth team that's pretty good. Yeah. They might have taken their lumps in that game, so maybe they're looking forward, looking ahead, you know, to playing North and North this week. All right, who are you going to pick in that one? I want to pick Farmville Central to win. We haven't had a lot of opportunities to pick them to win. They've been down for a few years, but I think this North and North team is, is, you know, right for the taking. I feel like Farmville Central is really going to be pumped up since, since they didn't get to play last week. I'm picking the Jags. All right, Jim. I'm going to go with the Jaguars, too. I just think this is a really good matchup for them to play at home. Um, coming off the bye week, kind of. Right? That's, right. Yeah. You know, That's right. Always like they're going to be rested. They're going to be healthy. Um, so I, just, I think this is a prime opportunity for a good one, for them to get a win at home. Agreed. All right, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Uh, a clean sweep of Farmville picks here. I'll mm -hmm. go with the Jaguars. If there's any team that's ready to hit somebody else at this point, <laughs> it's got to be Farmville. It's, they've had a long preseason, basically. So I'll take Farmville to start off 1-0. Um, our next game, Jim, uh, South Creek is at North Pitt. Yeah, North Pitt coming off a, a, a pretty tough game against Conley where they yeah. got moved to, to Saturday and hung with the Vikings in the first half and things kind of, kind of uh, uh, Vikings pulled away there in the second half. And now they're playing a South Creek team that struggled all last year, yeah. came out and got a win week one. So you know, this will be kind of an uh, interesting matchup of, of these two teams uh, and uh, I think more of an, an even matchup for the Panthers. Yeah, yeah I agree. Um, what's your pick there? I'm going to go with the Panthers here. I mean, they, they still have the big play. Um, uh, ability. I, I just don't think South Creek's going to come in a, into Bethel and get a win. I just think North Pitt's ready. They're going to probably take some aggression out on Saturday. Yeah. I mean, Friday night, and I, I really think they would have, they'll kind of win easily. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm going to North Pitt. Uh, like you said, they kind of played a really good half last mm -hmm. week. I think they put it together for a, a full game this Friday, um, get that win, the first win of the year. Tony? Yeah, that's, North Pitt's dominated this series. I don't see that stopping on Friday. I think they get a win. All right, next game here, um, I'll take this one. South Central travels to West Craven. A uh, familiar opponent, both these teams were in the Coastal 3A Conference last year. Right. Um, South Central's moved up to 4A, so it's now a non-conference game. Um, West Craven with a huge win last week, snapped mm -hmm. a long um, winning streak for Edenton Holmes. Um, South Central, kind of the same thing we saw last year. Played really well for a while, inconsistent on offense, um, struggled late in the game. So. Uh, it's kind of you want the Falcons to kind of turn that corner. It didn't happen last week. No. Um, we'll see if they can maybe hang with the West Craven team they're real familiar with. Um, one of our our show's favorite, Charles Harris, yeah. used to be an assistant coach at South Central. He's now West Craven. That's maybe a wild card in this matchup. <laughs> you never be. know. Um, so shout out to, to Charles there. <laughs> but uh, my pick for that game, I'm going to go with West Craven. Man, that's a, a big win last week. They got. Um, I think they kind of keep that momentum going. Um, I'm still. You know, kind of wanted. I wanted South Central to get a win before I picked yeah. them. Um, I think it's a close game, but I'll go with West Craven at home. I think West Craven being at home um, and the fact, you know, the Chuck factor. I feel like if he has any information to share about what South Central does, I think he'll do it because the guy wants to win. But um, you know, South Central really tough early schedule here. It is. Um, yeah. it, it certainly doesn't get any easier this week. I think West Craven wins. All right, Tim. Yeah, I'm going to go West Craven too. You look at uh, the fact that South Central gave up over 300 yards on the ground last week, and that's yeah. kind of a scary total there. Yeah. Um, I think until they get shore up some of those problems on, on the defense, they're going to struggle. I think West Craven gets the win. All right. Uh, another clean sweep there with our picks. Mm -hmm. uh, That's a little yeah. scary. It's disconcerting. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Tony, next game, uh, I think a really good one here. Uh, yeah. J.H. Rose travels to Laney. God, it was a great one last year. I covered that That's game. Right. And right. it was one of, I came back, I think I told you guys, it was one of the best high school games I've ever seen. Any sport. I mean, it was incredible. 47-44, Rose won. Um, you know, and it looks to be another, it probably is going to be another high scoring matchup. Both yeah. teams like to go to the air on offense. Rose proved in week one that they're not afraid to throw it. I think on the first play they ran a reverse pass yeah, for yeah. a touchdown. I think that's awesome. Um, 
Yeah, but I, I see it being another high-scoring game in Wilmington. Yeah, that's me a good one. What's your pick there? The fact that it's in Wilmington makes me want to pick Laney, so I'm going to. Um, okay. I feel like Rose is going to give them everything they can handle, but that long drive, it hurts teams. That's the bottom line. I think Laney, win Laney wins. All right, Jim? I was leaning toward Rose, but I think I'm going to pick Laney now. Um, because Laney, I did? Yeah. After uh, <laughs> nice. I'm going to pull a Ronnie. <laughs> that, that, that team, so. great analysis there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the, the thing that really concerns me, uh, if, if I'm Rose, is Laney was up 48 to nothing at one point mm -hmm. on Friday yeah. and rested all their starters. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. That's a huge number to put up in a half. Yeah. Um, so I think this is a really close game, but I think Laney gets the advantage being at home. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think this is a game that is a great game for both teams. Mm -hmm. I think we're looking at a, a second round, maybe third round playoff game, mm -hmm. um, assuming both teams are in that small 4A bracket. Right. I think both are really have that you know potential as far as the playoffs. I'm going to go with you all as well. I, I'm going to go with going with Laney at home. Mm -hmm. um, Rose's defense is stout. I covered them last week. There's no doubt. Um, I think it's going to be a close game. In Greenville, I'd probably take the Rampits, but I'm going with Laney uh, winning a, a really close game. Um, the last one here, Jim, two uh, Pitt County teams. D.H. Conley is at Aiden Griffin. Yeah, picked against the Vikings <laughs> last week. And That's I, right. Uh, they made me pay for it. Yeah. You know, I was kind of wondering if they were going to be able to replace some of those pieces on offense they lost. Looks like they it. did. Yeah. <laughs> that three guys rushed for 100 yards each. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Um, North Pitt. 2A, but they're no slouch, you yeah. know, to uh, to pull away in the second half. They shored up some of the problems they had in the first half and, and really dominated the second half of that game. So, you know, it looks like uh, Brian Pascal's just kind of retooled that offense Absolutely. and ready to go again. Yeah. All right, Jim, what's your you're picking the Vikings there? Yeah, you know, Aiden Griffin's coming off a pretty tough loss. That was. Uh, even though they're at home, I, I just think Conley's going to have too much firepower. They're just going to wear Aiden Griffin out. I'm going to have to pick Conley in this one. All right, I'm going to go with the Vikings as well. Uh, Tony, you mentioned a tough schedule. Um, Aiden Griffin has a tough oh, schedule no to start of the year. I mean, yeah. Yeah. they go on the road to Riverside. You have to come back and play a 4A team in yeah. Conley and a team that looks to be pretty pretty strong again this year. Yeah. Um, I'm going with Conley. I hate it for Aiden Griffin, but uh, I think they fall to 0-2. Yeah, I have to agree. Um, Conley's just going to be too much for him. Aiden Griffin's going to be fired up. Number one, after losing last week. Number two, they're going to be at home, and it's an in-county matchup, but I don't think they have enough to beat the Vikings. I think Conley will be 2-0 and after Friday. All right. Well, there's our picks. There's the, the games. Make sure you get Saturday's paper or check reflector.com, and we'll see you back next week.